Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. We're here on the Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea map and we're playing with Seasons. We've just had a rather wonderful short break. We've done a little bit of uh, surfing, a little bit of swimming. We even built a sandcastle, but now we need to head back and get on with our work. And... Driving in this direction, yeah, it goes quite a bit faster than the other one does. So then... Right, i got to bring this one over here to pick that up. Like that. It's a little bit of a shame. Still, there we go. Right, we, we, we've got the thing fastened on. That's all that counts. That's, that's what matters. And we'll put that one on there. And then I'm going to lower it down right here a minute. I'm going to stop that one there. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to get those mowers. I'm going to put them on the back. I'll have to move that IMT tractor out of the way to get that weight on, I think. So I grab you right there. Oh, wait. The, these aren't reversible mowers, are they? These own, these You can only use these in a single direction. Because, yeah, because because of the whole rowing up thing. So, there we go. The fact that this tractor can drive backwards doesn't really make any difference. And also, I can't use the front weight on it. Well, that's a little bit of a jolly nuisance, isn't it? So, we just have to leave that behind. I don't know if we still want this as our uh, mowing tractor, then. We might use a different one as our mowing tractor. We pick that one up onto there. I mean, at least we've got the rest of it. Now, where are we? Can oh! The farm is right there. We're, we're literally just a hop, skip, and a jump away from... It, it's right there. We can go straight across over there to go and park up if we want to. Or we could go and use the drive. I'm going to drive across first time. And we're going to go over and we're going to put this one in the shed. And then, now that we've got all of our machinery... Well, we've got all of our tractors. The rest of the machinery, we're going to be buying it as we start doing some spring planting. But we're going to need to start doing some spring planting. We're going to start breaking ground now. That's going to be our next task, is that we have to actually start breaking ground. So, the class over here, this is our mower beast right now to start with. You can go back in the shed and you can stop there. We'll be using you later on. So we'll switch to you right there, and then I will go... I want to go here. I'm going to try something with this IMT. It'd be interesting to use this one. Actually, I'm going to leave those lines on for a minute. Bring you out. It looks quite cool, this one. I like the look of this. Uh, we're going to need to be ploughing up this land. As if you have a look here, growth. This, this is what we got at the moment. Uh, temperature at the moment is 1 degree and 4 degrees in the soil. So we're not ready to actually start planting today, but we are, we've only got 1.5 million left. We're not going to be able to buy any cows at this rate. I've gone and bought too many tractors. I did say that I was going to get a load of tractors. Oh, mission accomplished. We've got a load of tractors. So I've got a little bit that's cultivated here, but honestly, it's, it's a bit messy around there with those. So if I go over this way, soil composition, I've got a little bit there that needs lime. And that is fertilized. Uh, fruit types, yeah, that's it. Nothing else is done. Everything else that we've got, we're going to have to create our own fields with. So to start with, I want to sort of turn field one area into a field. And then I want to uh, maybe blend that in with field two. I'm not quite sure. So in order to do that, we're going to need a plow. We need something to break the ground. So we want to go and we want to have a look under plows to start with. These are the base game ones. We know that the Salford plow, and not the Salford plow, I'm not keen to that one. It's this one here, the Gregoire Besson plow. I really like that one. It's one of my personal favorites. But I've got several others right here with a plow who can prepare the fields, and they're quite good. I had some trouble with this last time. But it, you need to use the one that says hired help, and then it will actually let you use it with the hired help. We've got the Diamond 12 right there. It's a four and a half meter Lemkin plow. And the other Lemkin that we've got over here, that one's 4.9. So it's actually, this one's smaller. Surprises me. I didn't think it was. Um, so I've, I've got those options right there, but there is another one. And we can go into subsoilers in here. We've got the Culti plow. It's this Culti plow here, this eight meter one. 
the Stevie Culty Plow over here is actually limited to 28 meter, 28 kilometers per hour, and I believe he's got this one allows you to create fields. I don't like that it's so fast because that seems a little bit too unrealistic for me. Um, but I do like that we could have used that one for creating new fields, which would be quite cool, because that's 8 metres wide. Failing that, if we go back into our ploughs over here, we've got these options here. This one right here. Um, if you want to work with the AI, you have to align the tool into the smallest angle. Otherwise, you have to drive your track to fully control this tool. That one's 6 metres. This one here is 15 metres wide, and... That might be a little bit big, but at the same time, big scale. That's what we said. So we're going to take that one there, the one with the hired help. Now, we did try this one before, and it sort of it sort of worked. I mean, we did like it. Basic spike tooth leveler, crumbler, rollers, basic. So what do we got? The spike tooth leveler is that like that, and then we've got the crumbler rollers. They go on the back like that. So we'll go with that one. No back hitch. This also got a back hitch on behind it that we could tow something on behind. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go with this. We're just going to go with that straight configuration there like that. I'm going to buy that one. It's 100,000 euros for that. Now, I'm actually thinking that I don't really want to use that with the IMT. I'm actually thinking that that John Deere would be a good one to use on this because it's a John Deere cultivator anyway. So I'm going to put the IMT over there a second. Like that. And we're, oops, steady. We're going to run round and we're going to hop into this bad boy right here. Start you up. Off you go. And we're going to use... Uh, now, you may notice that I've got some extra mods sort of showing what the tractor's doing and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't know what all these mods are. They are part of the mod collection that we've got on our Discord server. Um, so, Jimmy J, Smoodalini, and the likes, they will all know what those mods are, what they do. And they will also be able to provide some links. But uh, you need to go onto the Discord to sort of ask a bit more about those. I mean, there's probably... a I will be able to ask them, and I will be able to sort of find out a little bit about them. But right now, it's um, probably not going to be the easiest thing to do. Okay, a little bit of lag. I don't know if that's the cultivator, or if that's the tractor that we're driving around. I'm going to go with uh, Control s like that. I'm going to turn the lines off now, because I'm not going to use the GPS mod. I am going to come over to this side. You can see here that the, the field is a little bit of a strange shape here on this side. So I'm going to, we're going to go to this point here and we're going to unfold. We're going to start working. So from this point on, we're actually working the farm. We, we're going to start creating the fields, making things a little bit bigger and moving things around how we want them. The idea is that we need to make money. We need to plough up a load of land so that we can get some planting done. We'll slowly be bringing tractors back as we use them for different jobs. And we will also start buying in some animals. But I'm not sure when to buy because... Uh, what is it? It's... Uh, alt... No, not... Uh, yes, Alt S. This is one that I want. Now go to here. And you look, see, like, uh, wool right there. Sells best on the second day of spring. Eggs. Although you want to sell them sort of uh, year-round. Milk stays roughly the same all the way through. Tatey pose, best in the autumn. Uh, winter, actually. That's winter. Autumn's over here. Um, now, bales. Bales of hay. They're 80-odd in summer. And then in the winter, they sell best at around 110. Wood chips. Wow. Big difference here for wood chips. Winter is definitely the time to be selling those. Silage. Now, you get the actual price, and then you get the predicted price. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that one's about. Same with slurry manure. Uh, we've got hay, and we've got straw. What about... Well, I'm guessing silage is just silage. You haven't got hay and straw bales, but they're much the same. There's just slightly different prices. And then the animals. Now, this is where life gets a little bit difficult with the animals, right? Because you've got so many different types of animals. Oh, excuse me. Um, right, Limousin is a beef animal. Ayrshire is beef. Sailor, I don't actually know. I've not heard of that breed before. Holstein is a milk animal. Um, now, 
one, one, two. I, I don't know what that is on the side. So I'm some the Dorset is uh, different types of sheep. Merino is a popular one in the in Australia. Uh, Suffolk Dorper I've never heard of. Yorkshire Gloucester Old Spot is Yorkshire a pig or a sheep? I've no idea. Spotted is a sheep. Berkshire Cornish Cross that's a chicken. White Leghorn Rhode Island Reds. I used to have Rhode Island Reds, and then a plain old rooster. I don't know what the one, two, three bit is on the side. I'm not really very sure about that. Um, so animals, we will worry about those a little bit later. Um, the, the price of the animals seems to be fairly even all the way across. Uh, except for the pigs, they get a little bit of a dip in the autumn right there. So I don't know what that's all about. We'll, we'll worry about that later. We want to go here. We've got lower, fold, allow, create fields. We definitely want allow, create fields. And then we will lower this one down. Like that. And we're away. So we're going to go just off the edge right over here. So that we can sort of blend this in around. And turn this into an actual field. Right there. And I'll bring that in tight like that. That was too tight. I didn't mean to do that. And also I've got a little bit too close to the fence. I don't know what this little bit here is. But we will plough over that, and then I'm going to loop round a little bit, just to kind of straighten things up some more. Bring that back that way. Uh, loop round again. And we just want to sort of tidy this up. So field one over here is rather small. You can't really do a great deal with this one. So what we'll do is... I'll plough along the edge like that. And then I will go along over to this side as well, and I will plough around over here. But I'm not going to do very much more to it. That one I'm going to kind of leave like that. Because I'm going to plant grass on this field. We've got roads in between. There is a tree there that we may remove, because it's inconsiderately growed in the wrong place. And... I'm thinking grass on this one. This would be a nice small grass plot that we could pick up. Or we could just turn this in. We could start, you know, putting some barns or something down on here. Um, but yes, that the bigger the fields, then uh, the, the big fields, we'll use those to focus on the arable cropping. Uh, whereas the smaller fields here, we will use those for more grass work. And that's generally what I do. Um... Well, what I used to do, a lot of you know that I don't generally... I, I don't really play Farming Simulator on my own anymore. Every, every bit of Farming Simulator I play, I um, I show. But what I've always done, the thing that I've always liked doing, is um, big fields for arable, small fields for grass. It always seems to work out easier and a little bit better for me if I put the small fields with the grass and the big fields with the arable. It just, it just seems to fit a lot better. It seems to fit the machinery on in the game and uh, sort of things like that so for that reason i'll stick to much the same i'm gonna bring that round there there we go uh, i won't worry about going any further in there um you know i don't actually need to worry about plowing the whole field because the periodic plowing doesn't affect grass and i don't think it does in seasons either so we'll get this bit here plowed through and then we've got two more little bits over there that we're going to go, and they're going to be prepared for grass as well. We've got a chunk right in front of us over here. I'm thinking that one, we will use that as our first arable field that we make. So we will blend that one. We will put that one all out into an arable field. I'll bring you over this way. Right, now let's just have a look in here. We've got a growth so, uh, soil composition. There, needs ploughing. Nothing actually needs ploughing at the moment. So that one's ready. We are going to have to put lime on it. Although, no, once again, grass doesn't affect lime, does it? So we've got a big chunk over there. And then possibly a big chunk over there. I'm going to switch allow create fields off a minute. I'm going to lift that one up. I'm going to fold it before we go moving. Because I might not go to there. I'd like to have a little bit of a look around some of our land and we can then plan out a little bit of what we're going to do. So if I'm going to be having a little bit of a drive around, we want to go to cars in here. We've got a Rumbler van workshop. We've got the John Deere 
um, Mahindra type thingy right there. The Mahindra there, this, uh, what speed do they, uh, 97 kilometers an hour. I got that one, that's 120k. The base one there is also, uh, we're going to go with this one. We'll go with this one right here. Design, I always like black and yellow. I, I love black and yellow. It, I, it's just, it's my particular favorite color combination. Now, we don't have uh, stripes or anything like that that we're able to use on this, but it is my particular favorite color combination. So we're going to take a black and yellow right there. I'm going to stop you right where you are for a minute. I'm going to go through our machinery, go to this one, and we're going to take a little bit of a look around. So where do we own? We own everything up to the shop, so we've got a nice big one right there, just the other side of that building. We've got a very big field right there that we could use. You know, we haven't had a bit of a drive around the map either. We ought to do that. While we're having a look at some of our land over here, we could have uh, another little bit of a look around. So we've got field four over here. This, this one's made. All right, I've got all of this big chunk over here. And... There's a load of roads driving in between all of that. So we go down here. We've got the, the town down there. And then we've got these roads over here. So we've got, like, there's a small section here which we'll probably leave as grass. Then we've got this big piece here. We want to go around the edge of this one. Make this one bigger. We'll go right out to the edges on here. And this one is another arable field, definitely definitely going to be doing that as arable land uh, we'll just pop across the road over here and we've got this little section here these pieces that are immediately around the farm i'm thinking these well actually this field here this one goes quite big doesn't it all the way out around here this one will do as arable and then number two over here will do that one as uh, grass again so that'll be another small grass field we've got a little a farm track that comes up here that one comes up through there and then you've got roads that run all over the place there's actually a lot of roads on this map like crisscrossing all over the place so we've got this bit right here i've got a small strip on our left hand side steady don't hit the trees that small strip on the left is fairly lo it's actually bigger than it looks like when you first look at it it doesn't seem all that big but now i'm looking at it from up here it does seem a fair size Although I'm still thinking that would probably be grass when we'll have three grass fields uh, one all next to each other going up through. This one here, big old piece up through here. This is definitely got to be an arable field, isn't it? We will leave the that piece in the middle right there with the trees. We'll leave that as an island of trees for now because the number of fields that I've worked in in real life that have got an island of trees stuck in the middle of them. Right, it, there's a lot, of, it's, it's a very common feature, it really is. We don't own the Field 5 bit over there, so we'll leave that. Uh, we do own this. Again, this is more arable land over here, isn't it? This, this absolutely got to be arable land. This lends itself very well. We've got a lot of ploughing to do. I don't think we're going to do all of the ploughing this spring. Purely because of how long it's going to take. And I would like to be able to cycle through a number of seasons while we're doing this series. Go up through here. This is all looking good so far. How far up this way do we go? We own right, we we own everything, don't we? Except no, we're we're not all the way over here. Ah, right. Well, this isn't our land down here. Even though it looks like we're we're pretty close to our land. Oh. No, that's not our land. We've got that piece there that comes. We've got one, two, and then that one that goes up there inside the road there. And then that road marks the edge of our land. Uh, so we're over that side. This here is not ours. And then we go down over there. I know I'm driving all over the fields at the moment. This is just so that we can have a quick tour and a, a bit of a drive around. I will stick to roads and stuff sensibly and uh, properly from right once we um gotten started with the rest of it but yeah that that is something i am going to be doing i am going to be sticking to the roads so this is where we're just going to drive the the boundary a little bit here and see what we've got um the edge of the field down over here we've got some quite steep land going up here although i'm not sure if this is even purchasable 
Really no idea about that. I love it. I mean, it's a big area down here, isn't it? Oh, wow. It really is a big area. Okay. Uh, you can purchase this. That's like half a million. We've only got 1.3 million left. So we're going to have to be careful with our money. We are going to have to be a little bit careful with our money. We've gone and bought a whole load of tractors. And we've got land. And we've got a plow. But we don't have a lot else. And even one single combine is going to cost us a lot of money. So we've got those things that we need to just be aware of. None of this is ours. We're not going to be purchasing any of this either. Or at least not to start with. We've got a lot of other things that we want to do. So we've got a sell point right there. There's another... Oop. What happened there? Did I cat? I think I caught on something. I think it might have been a slight invisible bump. And um, we've got another cell point over there right on the coast. Then we run up this way. We're heading towards the town. There's the dealership. We've got forestry land in the middle. And this is our land up here. Um... I probably won't be doing much forestry. I know I've got the forestry land, but I probably won't be doing much actual forestry here. Um, it's great to know that we've got a nice jump on there. That is just fantastic. There we go. And we've got a level area at the top here where we can go and build some stuff up here if we want to. So we can put a few placeables down there if we need. Uh, if we think that that is a good idea, then we, we can go and do something there. And let's come down off of there. And we're sort of back round to our own land. You've got the biogas plant over there, which we haven't bought yet. And then you've got the town up in that top corner. So we're just going to drive up and take a look at the town. It doesn't look like there's actually any traffic, at least not around the main map. Whether there is some traffic in town up here, we're going to have a look. Oop, steady. Right, it doesn't appear that there's actually any traffic on this map. Not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm, I'm actually thinking this might be a good thing, because traffic can cause some lag issues. So, we've got a little town up here. We've got some various cell points as we go round. Um, there's no people here either. It is a little bit of a ghost town, isn't it? It's definitely a bit of a ghost town. And this... this I've sort of looked through this map, and... It's definitely one of those maps that you, you look at it and you can see some quite strong pros and cons with the map. Um, for me, one of the quite strong cons of the map is the fact that we don't have any people, we don't have any cars. We, we Essentially, we own a ghost town. And that's quite a strong con for me. I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the fact that we have a ghost town here. It doesn't, like... The life in the map is is definitely not there because of like that 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 lack of people. I like the um, none of the fields are actually made. That you've got to go and start doing that. That is a big strong uh, pro for me. I really like that, and I like the way that it's all sort of laid out. Love the way that the main farm is laid out as well. You've got to go and buy all the individual bits just to start off with, and it. It allows you to start off with the cattle and sheep and everything for a very low price. You haven't got to go and buy the placeable pens for $300,000 or whatever it is uh, to start things off. And that, to me, is a massive big pro as well. So I, I really like the way... So, yeah, th this map is, is definitely strong for and strong against all the way through it. Right, there's definitely some very strong good points and some pretty strong negative points. So, I don't normally have a map that I'm sort of, I've got this many mixed emotions about. Uh, I usually go for a map that uh, I like a lot more. The main reason I've gone for this map is because I think it lends itself well to the whole purpose of this series, which is to have a series that we can do big, big scale. That's what we wanted. We wanted big scale. We wanted massive big scale because I've not done a series that has gone all out with big scale. And so that's our, that's, that is our plan for this series is to go all out with big scale. So that's what we're doing. So I think to start with, well, not to start with, I think for our next little task, I will take the plow over here and I will do this field. Then I will go to field three. Field three is going to be an arable field. So we'll... We're going to have to do quite a lot of planting and stuff. 
I'm sort of thinking, actually, that maybe we could get a cultivator going. So, rather than worrying about that one for a minute, let's get Sour Skittles. We can start using you. We've got a front way out there, which is perfect for Sour Skittles. So, we'll use that one for it. Uh, we're going to want a cultivator. Now, big scale. I said big scale, but that doesn't mean I have to use the very biggest for everything. So, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that in there right now. So, I'm not going to use the Flexi Coil for this one. This one here, though, that's... 80. This is a 12 meter one there. I like this horse cultivator though. I really do. These here, they, they, they're getting quite a bit smaller. Uh, there is some other ones that we've now got. We've got like the all rounder over here. That's a 15 meter one. Um, that oh, that's only a six meter. What are you? You're a 6.6. .6. Um, so that one there at 15 meters is pretty good. Uh, this horse one is 10 meters. That's a pretty good one. And uh, no. Uh, no, that one's 24, 18, 12, and that one's 8. So, that horse one is, like, quite a... I'm liking the, I'm, I'm liking the, the thought of using this big horse cultivator. It's only 12 meters wide, but that might actually fit to do some of the smaller fields. It's quite long, though. It's, it's not really best suited to doing... Um, short work that you've got to turn around a lot with. This one here is more suited to heavier soils where you and and also straight lines because of the the really long cultivator itself. Um, it, it's got more tines that work the ground as you go over it. So it's definitely more of a heavy soil type approach. This one is. Uh, that being said, I'm still going to buy it. I'm still going to go for that one and back out of there because we've not used that one before, and I think the 12 meters is about right. Uh, we could also get that Bednar going in here as well at some point. Uh, let me just get rid of the the lines on there. I know that I've got this GPS here, but I'm not sure I'm ever actually going to use it. And I'm going to back up there. The Oh, by the way, the AI Vehicle Extension. Wonderful, wonderful mod. You all know that I really love that mod. Uh, it appears that that one might actually be being worked on at the moment. So we may be able to get that one coming into the series at some point. Not sure when. Don't really know at the moment. I have no idea if it's compatible with seasons or anything like that. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. So, we'll take this up the road. Normal driving. Normal driving has now resumed. And I'm really not sure that this particular cultivator is going to be the best one for doing the small fields. But we'll, we'll see. It might be all right. We'll, we'll get this one unfolded and going in the first field that we've ploughed. Also, I need to swing out like the, the turning circle on this one. is not very good either, is it? I need to work on that. <laughs> I need to work on that a lot, to be honest. Right. I'll bring you in here. I suspect that because I haven't ploughed the whole field, it's also not going to allow me to leave the hired help working on the field either. I am thinking that I've picked the wrong cultivator for this job. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I am going to go with it. And stop second-guessing myself. I'm going to go with this one because... There we go. That one goes up like that. I, I'm loving the unfolding sequence of this one. It's very cool. Lower you down. Oh, no. I've just, low, I've just lowered down the front. Wait, I don't want to do that. I want to lower down the actual cultivator like that. Into the ground. And we're away. Okay, that is cultivating up a treat. It's probably not going to have the hired help do very much in here because of the fact that uh, half the field is already cultivated. So if, even if I just... Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.